Hi everyone, and welcome to this session on Looker Embedded Analytics, featuring one of our amazing Looker customers, W Promote. My name is Mayor Newton, and I'm an outbound product manager at Google Cloud, focused on the Looker platform. Joining me today is Paul Dumay, CTO of W Promote. I thought I'd start this session with a brief overview of embedded analytics and the market trends that we're seeing today. And then I'll hand things over to Paul. When we talk about embedded analytics, what we're talking about isn't just embedding dashboards into applications or portals, we're talking about integrating data into any experience in order to help a user make a data-backed decision. As an example, when I'm booking a flight through Google, I'm able to see price trends that help me determine whether to buy my ticket now or to wait. Or even more recently, in the middle of my fantasy football draft, I was able to see player stats and projections that helped me decide who to draft next for my team. Embedded analytics is all about putting data in front of someone when and where they need it. How many of you have looked something up on your phone within the last 24 hours? How about in the last hour? We're used to having information at our fingertips, whether that's through the internet, an app, our phones, even our watches. To stay competitive and differentiate their products, organizations need to create experiences based on data that are tailored to their users. This means reaching casual users with text alerts, app notifications, and even basic in-product visual visualizations driven by AI and machine learning. This means providing power users with robust analysis capabilities so that they can drill into the details of the data and build their own workflows. This even means sharing raw data and API access with developers so that they can pipe data into their own systems and build their own analytics and data products. Embedded analytics isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, and the demand for custom, personalized interactions driven by data is continuing to grow. With Looker, we've built a data platform that can meet you where you are now and evolve and scale as you do connect to a SQL database, model your data using LookML, Looker's modeling language, and then use developer tools like iframes, the API and SDKs, webhooks, components, or even Looker's extension framework to put fresh, trusted insights into the hands of your users. Because LookML is code-based and leverages modern Git software development workflows, it allows you to collaborate more easily on your data model ship quality code more reliably, and ensure continuity of your data application. And Looker's API-first cloud-native architecture makes it easy to develop and iterate on data applications through the platform. Building embedded data products and applications is a journey, and Looker provides options for every step. Commonly, Organizations may start by providing direct access to Looker for external parties or with simple iframe embedding inside of an application or portal. These solutions are easy to stand up and fast to take to market. Over time, iframes may be paired with API-powered widgets, Looker components, and other features that are custom developed until ultimately iframes end up being replaced with fully custom data applications built on top of the Looker API. The power here is that all of these solutions are built on top of the same governed model data in Looker, which gives you the flexibility to evolve your data experience and improve your application over time without going back and reworking the back end. And as your embedded analytics strategy evolves, so can your monetization strategy. Advanced data features and functionality can be built and monetized as add-ons or included in advanced tiers of your product to help drive upgrades and revenue growth. Regardless of the data product or application that you want to build, Looker has the tools to help you put insights in front of your users when and where they need them. 
W Promote used this idea of sharing up-to-date data as a way of differentiating their offering and created distinct experiences for each of their users in an automated way. I am really excited to introduce Paul Dumay, CTO of W Promote, to share more about their journey and how building an embedded analytics application with Looker has impacted their business. Take it away, Paul. Thank you, Mayor. Hi, I'm Paul Dumay, CTO at W Promote. I'll tell you a bit about W Promote first to provide some context. We're Adweek's reigning fastest growing digital marketing agency. And that growth means that we need a lot from our data. We need to integrate data from many different sources across many different clients and democratize data science for our teams so more people can access advanced capabilities. Our ability to do that well and at scale is what differentiates us from the competition. And it's even more important as we've moved deeper into the enterprise market and working with businesses that have extremely complex data needs and multi-channel marketing strategies. To meet the needs of our customers and employees, we've built a proprietary data platform that we call Polaris. I'll be sharing some of the insights from our development process with you today. Our journey to embedded analytics started not long after I joined the company three years ago. My first directive when I was brought on board was to automate everything. Automation would free up time for human critical thinking, and that would lead to better outcomes for our customers and for the company. Most repeatable tasks can benefit from automation, but it's important to determine what is most valuable in each case, whether that's assistive to the people using it or fully automated. So I had to determine what was the right things to automate for W Promote. The most impactful things that we do at W Promote typically start with analyzing data. Analyzing the data outputs from our marketing efforts today fuels decisions for tomorrow. As I spoke with dozens of employees to understand what part of our process was right for automation, I discovered that people were spending a huge amount of time wrangling data and producing reports. And I suspect this is true of many companies. To make matters worse, people would pull different versions of the data from ad platforms, from funnel, from BigQuery, and they couldn't trust that it was accurate. Plus, everything was custom built. If I could automate the process of getting all the data into a single source of truth, and deliver a turnkey reporting solution, it would have a huge impact on our business. The complete solution would break down into these four basic functions I imagined. Get the data, analyze the data, explore the data, take action. If you're providing an assistive solution, people will explore the data to take the right actions. If you're providing a fully automated solution, we take actions directly based on the analysis. Due to the nature of our business, there are some unique challenges when it comes to building this. We have hundreds of customers with unique business goals and methods, and so our solutions need to be consistent across client data sets, but unique to each client. And we have hundreds of employees who need to use our solutions, and most are assigned to more than one client team. So they need to be able to switch from analyzing data for client A to managing ad campaigns for client B throughout the day. So where do we start? I always ask my teams, what is the first useful thing that we can deliver? In this case, it was get the data from Google Ads and Facebook Ads and combine them into a paid media overview dashboard. That would prove out the foundational elements of our software design and allow us to cut our teeth on all of the new technologies that we were going to use. The first thing we would need is a data pipeline. After evaluating the top ETL products and platforms available, I decided to build our own solution. I needed greater control over the data formats and workflow, and I needed to quickly and safely add custom data sources in the future. And I knew it was the first stage in an automation pipeline, so I needed to make sure that it would remain consistent and predictable. Next, I'd need a data warehouse. We need somewhere to put all this data. Our data scientists were already using BigQuery for deeper analysis of some of our biggest customers. So I took that as a vote of confidence and quickly determined that it would be ideal for our needs. It's cost effective, highly performant, and I wouldn't have to dedicate any developers to managing and tuning it. It just works. So the Data Mart is the most important piece because it's the solution to the original challenge, a single source of truth that allows our teams to access our customers' data in a way that is both consistent, so we can automate, and uniquely represents their business, so the clients will find the insights valuable. 
Originally, I was planning to build the entire thing in Python with React, just like the rest of the Polaris system. But I have another principle of software development that applies here. Build only what you have to. If there's an existing solution or partner out there that fits into your vision, you don't need to spend the human power and resources to reinvent the wheel. That's where Looker comes in. But first, before I talk about why Looker is the right fit, let me tell you what we needed to build to establish a data mart. A data mart works by exposing a logical view of the data warehouse that's specific to a business purpose, such as creating a unified view of all search or all social marketing channels. That's what allows for omni-channel analysis and reporting. And all of this must be managed in code so we can deploy updates to our data mart along with the rest of our code changes. Then we need to create a user interface so people can actually explore the data. That means building some React data grids so you can sort, filter, and pivot the data and provide data visualizations using something like D3 to build graphs, charts, or whatever else that we'd need to actually use all of the data that we're piping into our data warehouse. Essentially, we need to make it simple for people and machines to make business decisions based on the data we're collecting in our data warehouse. As I was figuring out how we were going to put all of this together, I realized Looker had everything we were looking for right out of the box. Plus, it had other features that were on a roadmap. I saw Looker as a set of components that work together naturally to solve a problem of data modeling with LookML, data exploration, dashboards and explorers, and user management and access controls, all available via API. But I worried that using so many key components from a single vendor might limit our ability to innovate. Reason for that is one of the challenges I saw early on as a key limitation was that solutions we were using at that time had a very low ceiling beyond which we couldn't automate or scale. That's why we needed a new data pipeline and reporting solution. I wanted to build a system with no ceiling. The only limitation would be our vision and our ability to execute. So Looker Out of the Box is a very powerful and complete product and can be a turnkey solution for many companies. For me, that was just proof of concept to show what is possible. I can get started with the default behavior and then build on top of it. I can customize it, I can extend it. After a thorough evaluation, I was confident that I could build everything I needed today and in the future. Specifically, it had functionality that's super valuable to the way I design software and something that's very hard to find. 100% API coverage. Everything that you can do from the Looker UI can be done via the API. Also, LookML and Liquid Variables together provide a flexible and expressive language for custom data model development. And powerful concepts like refinements and extends align perfectly with my designs for the Polaris platform. And there are multiple well-documented ways to integrate and embed Looker into our custom applications. All of this means that Looker is an open platform that would integrate nicely with the rest of my system's architecture. So, did I achieve my goal of data pipeline automation with turnkey reporting? Let me show you. Today, when we onboard a new client, it takes only a minute for our account managers to activate the integrations with Google, Facebook, and all of the other marketing platforms. The process of loading data is completely automated and highly scalable. In this example, the platform data integrations have already been enabled. With data flowing into the BigQuery data warehouse, now we can activate the client's reporting. Insights Explorer is what we call the reporting solution for both customers and employees. By clicking the Activate button, we call the Looker API to create a new group with user attribute set to connect members of this group to that client's data. We also create a shared folder for this group to hold all of the dashboards and looks for that client. And we have a dozen dashboards available for the team to choose from. It takes only a few seconds to enable any of the available dashboards with a single click. Behind the scenes, we're calling the Looker API to generate a clone of the master LookML dashboards from our code repository into the client's shared folder and embed that dashboard into this view. And as our employees navigate to different clients and view their dashboards, we're using single sign-on embeds to automatically log them in as the correct user for each client. Now, customers can also log into an external Looker portal and access all of this reporting as well. So this is now the functional source of truth for hundreds of customers and all of our customer-facing employees. And we've solved a business challenge that used to take several hours for many hands to deliver and now can be done by one person in less than 15 minutes. And we can do it more accurately and consistently than we did before. And Polaris is more than just customer data reporting. We have an entire section for operations management where we partition access for our business data by role instead of client. 
We use Looker Private Embed to deliver dashboards for finance, sales, HR, and more, so people can access the specific data that they need to do their jobs. Looker also enabled other functionality that would have required many months in development if we had built it ourselves, like emailing reports every morning or being able to save data as PDF and so much more. Now, as you know, when you build something new, you introduce risk. And the more complex the functionality, like data modeling, the bigger the risk. And this is another way we benefit from licensing Looker. It helped us mitigate risk while maintaining speed. And this benefit continues as we have used more of the features of the Google platform. The overall result, we could bring our platform to market faster with more functionality and lowered risk of failure. The bonus, I could reduce headcount costs because there was less code to develop and maintain. What we've looked at today is just a small piece of the Polaris platform. But the resources freed up by using Looker opened up time and resources that we could use elsewhere. We've accomplished a lot. So let's review. What we needed to build was a single source of truth and a turnkey reporting solution. Check and check. But there's more. The Looker integration also gave us the ability to unlock self-service business intelligence. When we unleashed our people and gave them access to all of the data to start exploring and filtering and pivoting it and doing the things that they're used to being able to do with spreadsheets, that meant that our people and our clients were embracing and accepting Polaris as the single source of truth that we built it to be. Not an easy task to break habits and overcome the how we've always done things challenge. And this is the amazing part. When someone is exploring and experimenting and discovers a new way to view the data, we can capture that and make it part of the platform for everyone's benefit. The platform becomes more useful, stickier, and we can easily share intelligence about how to find hidden gems and signals across teams and clients. Essentially, the platform grows every time they create something new. This self-service BI tool is a no-code solution for people outside of the R&D teams to contribute to the product. My team's always building new features, but the platform is actually expanding organically based on the way we use Looker. And continuing democratization is at the heart of what's coming next. My North Star continues to be automate everything and make all of our data as actionable as possible. So going forward, we want to create an intuitive user experience where people can explore the data and take action directly by integrating all of our proprietary tools into Insights Explorer. And we'll accomplish this by incorporating and extending the Looker Action Hub to support our specific needs. We also want to use the Looker Extension Framework to connect Looker and Polaris in a meaningful way to make it so our customers can access more of the Polaris platform from the Connect portal. Moreover, we'll make good use of all of the innovations coming out of the BigQuery development team in order to save money and gain a competitive advantage. And none of this would be possible without my incredible product development teams, so I want to give them a shout out before we finish. I hope you found something valuable from our experience building Polaris with BigQuery and Looker on Google Cloud Platform. I feel like we're just getting started, and I look forward to sharing more of our journey with you in the future. Thanks, everyone. Back to you, Mayor. Thank you so much, Paul. You have built such an incredible solution with Polaris. I really can't wait to see what your team is able to do next with the Looker platform. And thank you all in the audience for joining us today.